Many of you have had questions about airplane air. After going to the doctor's office and realizing that you have eustachian tube dysfunction, tinnitus, TMJ, you're discovering all sorts of things and your brain is starting to fill up. And you just wonder, should I ever take a plane ever again? Will this issue ever go away? I'm going to tell you right now, you should take that plane. And I'm going to explain some things you can do while on it to feel better and relieve that ear pressure that you're going through. Relieving that ear pressure from your ear, especially on the plane, is going to be a task. Because maybe your ear wasn't even as good when you first started, so now you're a little worried if you should even take that plane and that trip somewhere. Well, I'm going to go over a few things that you can do to try to get over some of those symptoms you're dealing with and kind of ease your tension about taking that trip to Jamaica or wherever you're going to go. Are your ears plugged or is it just me? Number one is wear earbuds. It seems very basic, and very common, and most people wear these anyways, but you're actually helping your ear out. By blocking out some of that excess altitude pressure that you're going to get on that flight is really going to help subside some of the pressure that you feel that's going to build up and possibly cause more irritation later. Our main goal is to regulate the ear pressure. And I totally doubt you guys do not want to wear these the whole flight. Because yeah, they work, but they may not be as comfortable. But it's certainly an option, and you can certainly go that route if you feel need to. But the main purpose here is we're wanting to regulate the air pressure. We want to maintain whatever that air pressure is at the time of the flight. So just be sure that you do this. And of course, if you have any other issues prior to getting on that flight, you do want to make sure to get in touch with your doctor. But if you've already used your earphones on a flight, good job, you're doing the right thing. The main purpose of this video is to help ease some anxiety that you may have to take a trip on a plane. So number two, we're going to jump right into, and that is yawning. Yawning is going to help you exercise the eustachian tube. If you're familiar with the j in this studio, you know the eustachian tube is highly talked about here because it can build up with pressure and by yawning, it exercises the eustachian tube to promote the equalization of the pressure and drainage. Doing so is going to help sustain you through the entire flight. So even if you're not tired, try to yawn. And for those that are yawning and not feeling any difference in your eustachian tubes and the pressure, also, you can try is swallowing, taking a little glass of water, sipping throughout the flight, making sure to move those eustachian tubes constantly throughout the flight. This is really going to help keep that pressure low and it's going to help keep the anxiety low as well. So grab some tea, maybe a little bit of water and try to remember throughout the flight to sip a little bit here and there. That's going to keep your eustachian tubes very busy and it's going to help equalize the pressure that you feel in your ear. Keep in mind folks, getting on the plane and having a little bit of ear discomfort is very normal, but we are simply trying to minimize. So number three on this video is we are going to chew gum. Now we have to do this throughout the entire flight or most of it anyways. If you're going to chew gum, try to do it throughout most of it. And if you can't do it through most of it, do the other options that I gave you. You want to sip water, sip tea, sip anything that's going to help your eustachian tubes move because chewing gum, again, is a way to equalize the pressure. It is exercising eustachian tube. And this is something that you hear a lot when you're going into the mountains. It's really the same when you're on the flight. Just chewing gum during takeoff and during landing is going to help you really feel better and equalize that pressure because a lot of you are dealing with tinnitus, TMJ, but of course, if you have a severe case of TMJ, chewing gum might not be the best option for you. So choose wisely, my friends. And last but not least, number four, try to be fully awake during takeoff and landing of your flight. Reason being is that when you're sleeping, you of course are not exercising your eustachian tubes. You're not doing anything basically to keep the pressure equalized or keep some of that excess pressure out. If you're sleeping, the air is just going to continue to build up, build up and build up. And we all know takeoff and landing is when you're going to get the most side effects from the excess pressure. Alrighty, my wellness people, that concludes our topic for today. If that video was helpful for you, go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video from the J Wellness Studio.